the NCSC came out of the new National Cybersecurity Strategy, which was published last year by the government. Um, that really comes in two parts. It's partly about demystifying and simplifying the landscape for cybersecurity, and that's where the NCSC comes in. <clears throat> and it's partly about signalling a new change in how the government wants to manage cybersecurity for the UK. So the NCSC is the single point of authority and contact for cyber in the UK. Uh, we bring together five different organisations that previously were all responsible for cyber in some sort of uh, some way, and bring those into a single place where government, industry, even the public can go and get advice, guidance and help. And that's from everything from understanding what the threat landscape is, through advice and guidance on how to protect your systems, through to active you know, hands-on help if there's a real incident. That's the first part. The second part is this change in, um, in attitude uh, for cybersecurity in the UK. And the strategy sets out a much more interventionist strategy. And that's where the NCSC is building services, changing how the internet works in the UK to make security better for people, to give people really high quality information so they can make better decisions in their day-to-day -day life. We think it's really important that there is a single point of contact because it's simple. Um, if you are a small business owner and you need advice about you know, which smartphone to buy or how to configure your network, you shouldn't have to think too hard about that. It should be available to you. It should be presented to you in a way that makes sense to you. So it's not that we will be the only source of that information, but we want to be the only authoritative source. For example, we'll publish through others. So the British Retail Consortium has just published their cyber guidance for retail companies. We were involved in that and we helped them make sure the content of that was good. I think what's changed significantly, as I say, is this interventionist approach. Um, almost all national cybersecurity strategies are about information sharing. It's about telling people to do better. It's about giving people information, finding safe places for them to share information. While that's had an effect, it hasn't had the effect any of us really wanted. Uh, for the last five years we've been trying that and we're, we're in a much better place than we were, but we haven't gone ahead of the threat. What we think is necessary now is to change that conversation, to be much more interventionist, to build services that fundamentally make it more difficult for attackers to succeed in the UK, change their return on investment, make them go somewhere else. One of the real challenges around cybersecurity is the language that's used. So we want to really demystify this and have everything as evidence-based, driven by data. So where people are investing their, their limited security budgets, and whether that's money or whether it's time, doesn't really matter. Where they're investing as limited budgets, we want to make sure they understand the return on investment they get. So should I do buy a firewall or change my smartphone pin? Those are the kind of questions we need to help people get real evidence for. And that's what I want to change cybersecurity into. I want to change it to an evidence-based scientific discipline rather than what is frankly fear-mongering at the moment. We are currently going through a piece of work to, to revalidate all of our schemes and our skills work. We think it's absolutely critical that consumers have good evidence to help them make buying choices. And whether that's on products, whether that's on people, doesn't really matter. Um, we need to find much more scalable ways of providing that evidence to them so that people can make those good value judgments. In terms of skills and education, we think that's absolutely critical, which is why our Cyber First programme is there to get um, kids into STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths, and from there into cyber security. And we're also using that to try and f help fix some of the diversity problems with our Cyber First Girls competition to get 13 to 15 year old school girls into this subject to try and f help fix that diversity problem. Part of the problem we have at the moment is, is going back to this ch challenge about knowing where to put your investment. So a lot of the attacks we see use very, very basic techniques. They use vulnerabilities that were patched years ago. They use spoofed emails. They use web drive-bys. We can fix all of this. We can certainly make it a lot harder for the attacker to succeed. So what we want to do is push that basic hygiene out there first and then work out what the threat really looks like. A lot of the stuff that's talked about in the press and, and more generally um, sounds like they're throwing zero days you know, on every single attack. That's just not true. A lot of the attacks we see, even the very impactful ones, um, are technically quite unsophisticated. And so we need to really, really get back to basics, really fix the basics well at scale, and then let the really skilled network defenders concentrate on the high-end hard stuff. If there's one thing to take away, it's do the basics at scale.